Today is number day, what is it? It's gonna be day number 24. I'm actually, I'm recording this in advance cause I need to get a backlog of videos to be able to, uh, to start just studying editing and studying a whole bunch of other things. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's get rolling. And currently I'm 2860. Been a bit of a struggle lately, but you know, such is life, say la vie. Let's do this thing. We're waiting. It's time to go. All right, here we go. And of course, I just did not turn the, the, the volume down, but I got it. Everything is good. Okay, knight c3, e6. Knight f3, we play knight c6. I studied this. I looked at this variation. Do we play a6 here? I think we do play a6. Bishop d3, now it's knight c6. I looked at this. Knight, what? What is this? What is this nonsense? I'll just play d6. I'm going to ignore it. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> I have no idea what that was about. This knight is just misplaced on e3. It's going to be blocking the bishop. Y'all going to see. Y'all going to find out. Um, d5 could be interesting. d5 could be very interesting. d5, I think I'll play knight a5 and b5 and... Let's play b5 here. Bishop is coming to b7. Is his idea knight g4? Okay, let's play h5. Stop any knight g4 ideas. a4? Yeah, he's just... He's just continuing to chomp away. What is this guy's rating here? 2700, okay, decent guy. He's beaten me. He has beaten the birdmaster. All right, should I play knight e5 or knight a5? I wanted to play knight a5. Knight e5 makes more sense though. Knight e5 is a bit more sound because uh, the thing, knight a5 here, my bishop, my bishop is going to be blocking my knight from getting around to the normal square. Should I take here? No, I don't think so. Let's just take this way. He could take here. All right, I'll take. If he takes with a pawn, if he takes with a pawn, things get pretty spicy. <laughs> Taking with a pawn, I get a lot of compensation. I'm not, I'm not sold on who's better here. I have fantastic pieces at the moment. I'm gonna play c4. I have full control over the board. I think I have very good compensation here. I hope he plays bishop b3. I'm just gonna play c4. I think I've been watching too much Ginger GM. I really want to. I really want to say these Ginger GM terms now. Um, let's play C4. Just completely kill that idea. Um, all right, he's gonna take this pawn though. I should have. I should have been on the lookout for this. Yeah. This. Um, okay. Things are things are going a little badly. Put the queen on C8. Queen is gonna come into H3. I have. I have a lot of compensation here. I'm not I'm not sold on how bad this position is. Definitely white is a bit better. It's two pawns is a bit much for, for the compensation I have, but I, I don't I don't think it's the end of the world. Position is super spicy. This would be uh like a Taco Bell medium on the spice scale. Okay, should I play knight c6? I could play f4. Bishop takes f3. That looks bananas. That looks completely bananas. He plays knight e3 there, though. No, okay. I think f4 takes knight f3, knight e3. No, that's not going to work. Um, let's play bishop f8. Just keeping my eyes open. I'm locked in. Uh, okay, knight takes. He's going to hit me with... No! Oh! oh, man. I, I'm really getting sick of this chess.com thing. Why does it work that way? Why is this their system? I didn't click the knight again. Oh, my... Y'all oh. y'all saw that. Y'all know the truth. All right, I'm, I'm just resigning here. I've had enough. 2849, I don't care. I'm not counting that. Scratch that from the record. We're moving on. We're not. We're not counting that. Don't. Don't worry about that. Just go, let's get to the next game. 
First game doesn't count. We already know that. Always the first one doesn't count. Okay. The second one counts. Okay. That's so ridiculous, man. Of course, I, why would I ever put my knight on that square? Very frustrating stuff. But okay, I gotta look at this opening, though. This 95-93 funny business I've never seen before. Yakov. I know Yakov. Yakov's a funny dude. Yakov's a, a cheerful and merry guy. I know him really well. I've known him like 10 years or something. Uh, should I start with h3? Let me start with... Yeah, let me start with h3. Let me get the bishop here. Let's deal with that. Okay. Play this. Play c4. I'll play knight c3. I got a great stone wall here. Of all people, he should know this. This is his system. He plays the stone wall. All right, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm kicking his knight out. Uh, okay, c5 is one of the ideas here. I really need to get ready for c5. Um, c5 immediately though, I think I can just, no, I can take on c5. It's not gonna be a problem just yet. Um, should I castle queenside? Yeah, let's castle queenside. This is, this is gonna get super spicy. Super bananas. Okay. Uh, I, I don't believe in that. I don't think that can work. Um, and the reason for that is that uh, his knight is just left out. My bishop pair is going to really benefit from the open board. Can I take on d5 here? Yeah, let's take on d5. Let's see what he's up to. I don't, I don't see what he has here. I think white is much better. If he takes on d4, I play bishop b4. He's doing that. I play bishop g2? Yeah, let's play bishop g2. Just playing bully ball. Uh, okay, if I park the bishop on c3, this pawn hangs. Just get the king out of the way. No worries. Everything okay. What's his rating? His rating is probably higher than mine. He's very good at chess. Especially blitz, he's one of the best. One of the best in the world, people. I'm really playing with the big dogs now. Everyone's got their big boy pants on. Can't I take this pawn here? What is what is his plan? Okay, bishop f3, he takes on d4, I play bishop c1. He takes on d4, I play bishop c1, he could take on f4, knight g3, that's his idea. I play rook. Okay, what about bishop a5? I think bishop a5 makes more sense, just poke the rook out. Bishop a5, knight takes rook, I take this, this rook. He plays knight f2, I play rook d2. Completely fine. Because see, now I'm defending this pawn. And I mean, the critical thing here would be, could he attack this? But he can't use this square, because my bishop is covering it. So everything is okay. Yeah, guys, as you can tell, I'm very cheerful. Like, don't, really, don't worry about the 3,000. My whole plan is I'm making a backlog of videos, so I'll have a lot, I'll have like a week to study before the final 10 days. And I'm gonna work on all my openings. Master all my tactics. Oh, he could... Knight, well, knight f2... Knight f2... Knight f2 gets a little spicy. Knight f2, I play rook d2. Takes, takes. Alright, I'm up a pawn here. Could be... Honestly, it would have been better if it was more. Uh, Okay, why not play rook d2? No, rook d2 won't be good. Rook d2 is no good. Let me play rook e2. I need to transfer my bishop over to b3. Bishop needs to go to b3 or c4. Let's play a4 here. Starting to make progress. Um, how am I going to do this? Rook c2. If bishop e3, I play rook c4. Still nothing. Rook f1. Rook f1 is interesting. I think... I play rook c4. Rook c4, he takes on b2. Let's start with the check. Let's see what he's up to. Check asks some very serious questions. All right, and now... Rook c4. If he takes on b2, I play bishop d5. He's practically trapped. <laughs> this is a wild position. Takes on b2, bishop d5. His bishop is practically... Oh no, he plays bishop c1. He plays bishop c1. Let me play bishop e2 here. He's gonna go here, I'll take. 
I must be much better here. I have to be much better. I'm I'm on the road. I'm on the road to uh to paradise. Uh okay, rook c3, rook f2 doesn't do anything. Let me and just keep on advancing my king. This is a very tough position for him. I really hope I don't lose this. I mean, I feel like my king is so much better than his. There's, I should not be able to lose this, really. He takes on f4. I'll play rook h1. Yeah, maybe... Oh, God, I, just, I think I messed this up. I'll take the draw. <laughs> oh, that's a good move. Queen d5 ends the game. Queen d5 would have ended the game. I got him. I got him. Definitely not a clean game. <laughs> oh, Yakov. I know I can always count on a rematch from him. No, Yakov, Yakov definitely a friend of the show. I really like Yakov. Good guy. He's very merry, if I may say so. B3... Yeah, he never really plays the theory. Um, do we play knight c6 now? I can't remember if we play knight c6. I'm gonna have to look at this. For some reason, I think that knight c6 is inaccurate here. I'll play queen e8. One of those moves is inaccurate. I can't remember which. Um, can't we play e5 here? It takes a knight g4. Isn't that how it works? I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if this works or not, but this is the idea. I got a pin. I got the pin, people. Okay? I've gotten this position many times at this point. Yeah, you park your knight on h6, knight is coming to f7. Everything is okay here. Um, should I play f4? Yeah, let's play f4. Keep everything closed. Keep the game completely closed. Okay, and this is the big threat. <laughs> Rook f7 though, he plays g5. Yeah, this guy is uh this guy is opening a real can of worms here. Everything looks okay though. Play knight f7, h5, start on start dislodging these pieces. Okay, what is his plan here? h4, I play h6. H4, I can also park my bishop on G4. I assume he has to do that, though. If he doesn't play that, things could start going really badly for him. Bishop A3? Can I take on G5 here? I think I'll take on G5, because the thing is, is here... Yeah, the dark squared bishop is so useful here. This is like a classic... Uh, this is a classic idea in the Dutch. So, if you got your notebooks out, take some notes. Um... Yeah, when you're when you're playing the Dutch and when they've put all their pawns on light scores like this, you can easily sacrifice the, the rook for the, the dark squared bishop and be completely fine. Um, all right, here. What do I do here? Can I take on e4? Well, taking on e4 opens up the... inflames the board. Should I take on e4 or not? Man, I gotta, I gotta think. I gotta figure out something here. Let's park the knight. I'm just going to park the knight on d4. We'll figure it out. We'll figure the rest out later. I think I have enormous compensation here. I, I need to just secure these dark scores next. I want to make sure that when I park my bishop on c5, they'll never be able to harass it. Okay, here we go. It's time to go. It's time to go. This, this is looking like complete positional domination, if I may say so. If I may say so myself. Park the knight on d4, and take with the knight. 
I gotta hurry up though. He's he's trying to get me on the clock. <laughs> he's not being so merry now. Yeah, this is enormously uncomfortable. Queen H4 is a huge threat here. This this move really weakened a lot of squares. Ah, I love the Dutch though. The Dutch. Okay, takes takes and Queen H4. No, let me take this way. Play Queen takes H4. This is unbelievably uncomfortable for him. This is there's so much pressure here. Park the rook on F8. I think he just has to resign here. Okay, that's what he's doing. Um, da 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 da. Da da da. Okay, no, I, I can't assume that I'm just gonna win this game. Let me park the queen back on d8. Knight, I'm still covering so many important squares. This this knight is superb here. Gonna play f3 next. Very uncomfortable position for him. Um, okay, if I play f3 though, he brings his bishop out. Let's get the king to g7, gonna play h5. I never need to worry about this. I need to stop talking. I'm down to 40 seconds, but uh... Oh, queen d7. Oh, that rascal. Man. I completely had him up until then. Oh, this is still such an uncomfortable position for him. If he takes on c7, I play rook... No, this can't be good. I gotta hurry up. Oh man, I had a, such a great position here. Such a fabulous position. He needs to try to flag me somehow. I think wait, G3 just ends the game. He has to play Rook D1 to try for something. That was such a close one, I almost got him. I need to just stop talking so much. Oh man, I thought I had him. I had such a good position there. I had such a fantastic position there. It's really all about time though. Like I just, I talked way too much that game. That was a really beautiful Dutch. One of my finest Dutches. But yeah, it's just, uh, man, I gotta stop talking so much. That, that is depressing, honestly. I'm a big fan of Yakov. I like him a lot, but man, that, that game put me in, in poor spirits. I'm very sad now. He could play d5. d5, I think I have to play d3. Okay, let me play e4 here. I gotta go for it. <laughs> it's time to go. Oh. Man, I forgot about that. I did not see that move. That's so frustrating. All right. I think this is the, the I think this is the end of the line people. I really messed this one up. Oh, man. This is, this is a painful stretch, no? Pretty painful stretch at the moment. But uh <laughs> My spirits have been broken. <laughs> Mary Yakov has uh, has killed my spirits, man. This is a very frustrating position. I don't know what he's thinking about. Okay, I'll just take. Um, play knight b five. Cover these two. Uh, most importantly, this bishop cannot get out. Mm. 
Yeah, queen h4. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in enormous trouble, honestly. Um, I don't see how I'm going to get out, actually. Let me play queen d3. I have to stop bishop g3. Knight d6 might still happen. You know, as long as I, I keep the, the position tense, I might get somewhere. I really, I can't, I have to stop giving up. That's like one of the lessons I learned. Just never give up in these situations. It's a three minute game. Literally anything can happen. Watching that time tick. Yeah, three minute is just not, three minute is like the least meritocratic at all. No, because it's uh, like this game I'm completely losing, but I have better chances to win than the others. Um, okay, queen c4, bishop g3 is the issue. I'll take this way. It's gonna play rook d8, okay. I play rook f1. Queen e7, I have bishop e5. Bishop d4, I can take on b7. I He should have several, like, winning ideas here. Takes, takes. Yeah, I have nothing to do. I have nothing to do, guys. All right, I'll take. I think this is over. Do I have literally any, do I have any way to survive this at all? Okay, I'll play here. He, he mates me. Um, all right. So that was a bad stretch of games. Um, unfortunate day today. Uh, what are we down to? I can't take a rematch. I I like Yakov a lot. Twenty-eight forty-one. Ooh, ooh, painful. Um, tough day. I think this last game, I just, I had really poor nerves. Um, I was so focused on like the, the depressing game before that I just, I, I need to, I really need to figure that out. I need to be much more aware of my emotions and just not, not start a game if I'm not, uh, feeling like completely mentally there. Um, with that being said, I think I played completely fine. I just need to manage the clock a little better. Um, like, if the other game had just gone in my favor against Yakov, if that Dutch game had gone in my favor, then I, I would have gotten up to 2870. Like, if game three had gone better, to be clear. If game three had gone better, I'd, I'd have gone up to 2870. I would have entered game four with great emotions. Um, so, yeah, it's really... It is insane. Like, you need to really be aware of the tilt if you're gonna, if you're gonna make progress. Um... So suffice to say, do not be uh, do not be discouraged by this result, guys. My rating is dropping a bit, um, but literally each of these games gets me ten points. So all I need is a good stretch of games, and I'll be back up around twenty nine hundred. Um, I'm really not worried about that. Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. <laughs> FTV Claude, I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked. It's time to go. Oh!